Hey friends, I'm here today to do the Lucky Girl top and I'm doing the tie option just because I think that one's harder and I always like to do the harder ones. I think um, it's always kind of nice to do the harder versions, kind of helps out and it helps tackle that fear of, oh, this is going to be so hard, I'm not going to be able to do it. We can do it. We can do it. If I can do it, you can do it because I'm not that great. <laughs> so anyway, so here we go. I already have my pattern cut out as usual. So here are my sleeves, and this is the shape of my sleeves, if you can see. So I'm gonna put my sleeves right sides together. So here's my one sleeve, and I'm gonna put my other sleeve right on top of it, right sides together. Um, obviously not this one, because this is my mirrored here she be here we go okay so right sides together right on top of it and see here where that curve is right here um, where the sleeve piece is I'm gonna line up this raw edge right here on the outside of my skin this is what's gonna be on the outside of your shoulder and what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna measure the side I'm gonna measure four inches down from the top I'm gonna start at the top at that raw edge that goes where my ties are on this side and I'm gonna measure four inches so here's my four inches I keep um, wiping my teeth because I am wearing lipstick and I don't wear lipstick often but I'm always afraid that I'm gonna get it on my teeth so I'm always like mm -hmm. so if you see me doing that that's why I'm doing it this is why I don't wear lipstick very often okay so here's my four inches so I'm gonna just make a mark right there so I know where my four inches are and then I'm gonna go ahead and right after I do that I'm gonna make two pins right here I'm gonna go ahead and sew a straight stitch down to the four inches so I'm gonna sew a straight stitch that's all I'm doing right here on the corner up to that mark that I made all right now that I did that I'm going to open it and here we are opening it up where I made that four inch uh, thing <laughs> where I sewed that the little four inch mark and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go all the way down the sleeve let me turn it this way so here's my four inches already sewn together and opened up I'm gonna go all the way down all the way down steaming that um, sleeve right there not sleeve sleeming the the side of the sleeve and all the way down it should be a half an inch wide half an inch okay so if you need to measure it you can go ahead and measure it you know if you've seen any more any of my tutorials or my sew alongs I am not one that measures a whole lot so um, half an inch that's gonna be your uh, seam, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. Now, what, we're gonna go all the way around, but first, when we get to the corners right here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my corners in half an inch. Let's see, I'll go ahead and measure that. I'm turning them in half an inch. like dog ears when you're making the folding the book because that way when I come around to fold it all the way in it will give me a less bulky seam right there so then I'm gonna go ahead and finish let me do this side the bottom because we're doing the bottom as well we're doing the top and the bottom and this is when it folds in right there half an inch looks like more than a half an inch there we go 
half an inch and I'm gonna do it all the way around I'm gonna get the same thing all the way around the sleeve easing it as I go on the round and steaming Probably should put a couple pins on this side too. Okay. Now I'm gonna do all the way around. I'm just showing you on this one. Uh, you're gonna do this to your sleeve, both sides. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold that half down right there. So it kind of caps it. I don't know if you can tell from up there but uh, it makes a nice nice even corners when you fold that down okay so I fold it all the way down all the way around to do my seam and that's a half an inch seam allowance so I'm gonna go ahead and go over there and hem it and I'm gonna do the same thing to my other side of the sleeve just go all the way down and then all the way around and then I'm gonna do the same steps to the other sleeve uh, four inches down spread it open and hem all the way around so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the next step all right friends I did my sleeves I finished them up and if you can see oh let me cut that thread after you go ahead and hem them they are well, these scissors are dull they are done and done here they are my ties are done. Look how nice. That was super easy. Not even that hard. There's my ties. Done. Now all we need to do is attach it to the shirt. So I've got my shirt. Here's my front. And I'm going to go ahead and you got to make sure it's the right one. See how this is longer? So that doesn't go there. This one goes on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this one and pin and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one this is my front that we're attaching to the front I'm gonna attach the other one to the front as well remember if it's too long then you probably are attaching it to the back or attaching the back of the sleeve to the front, it's gotta be the same size, obviously. It's getting wrinkled right here, so it's giving me a hard time. Okay. Here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew those front sleeves together. So you match up the front to the front of the shirt okay and i'm going to go ahead and sew those raw edges together i'm doing a i'm doing it on the serger but if you want to you can do a straight stitch i mean a lightning bolt or a uh zigzag stitch on your sewing machine either one will work just fine i find that my serger i love my serger because it does the clean um, serge, um edges remember to serve both sides as you're serging on there we go so I've got one on I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and then we'll uh, go ahead and put them on the attach them to the back of the shirt Finish attaching the front sleeves now I'm gonna place that back is face up front is face down right on top of it oh I'm already liking that it looks good with this lipstick too anyway so face down so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other side of the sleeves I'm just matching the raw edges of the sleeve and pinning and then I'm gonna go ahead and serge those on and then once I do that we'll move on to our neck band and then our waist our sides then our waistband and we'll be done and if you're not doing a waistband then you really just have to hem right after we do the neck band and sew the sides together so you are almost done so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these two sides I'm gonna serge them together um, and then we'll move on to our neckband so like I said we're just doing 
the side seams together of the show of the arms okay and then we'll move on to the neckband all right it's sewed on now we're gonna do go ahead and sew our sides now i love sewing my sides because it always feels like once i sew my sides together i'm basically done 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 so i want to meet up those uh edges first i'm going to meet up the armpit seam because i want to make sure that they're even and then i'm going to go all the way out to one side of the sleeve here's my sleeve all the way down and then i'm going to go all the way down the side to the bottom of my shirt right sides together always remember right sides are always together because if we don't put them right sides together that seam is going to be sticking out we do not want it to stick out so we're going to go ahead and sew those sides but i'm going to go ahead and just do my other side at the same time that way i can get them both done quickly because i am all about saving time while sewing saving time while sewing hmm? i love it and really the only hard part about this shirt is and it's not even hard is just doing the sleeves and it's not really hard it's just you know you have to hem which can take a little bit of time um, if you don't have a um, a cover stitch if you're using a double needle or a stretch stitch not too bad actually and it's such a cute look so excited i love making these i already have another one and i'm probably going to be making a few more so, so, cute. so i'm sewing up the edges the two raw edges together and i want to make sure that i both of them are cut on there so that they don't have so i don't have a gap on my side that's happened to me before when i don't pay close enough attention and i'm sewing and sewing along and thinking i'm doing so great and then I open it and there's a crack. There's an opening that I didn't close up. Not the best feeling. So I need to always make sure that my both of my fabrics are cut on there as I'm sewing. Especially when I try to sew fast. If I'm doing like a last minute gift or a last minute dress I'm gonna wear that night or that afternoon. I've been there, you've been there. I hope so. I hope I'm not the only one. Last minute sewer. That's what I am. Sometimes I'm up at odd hours of the night sewing something that it's for the next day. Should have started on this a while ago. Anyway, my top is pretty much complete. As you can see, it's looking awesome. Almost done, I love it. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. And so now the only thing that we have to do is our neckband and I'm doing a waistband. So if you're doing a waistband, if you're not doing a waistband, all you have to do is your neckband. You're almost done. So here's my neckband and I'm going to put the two right sides together at the short side and serge that together to make it one continuous loop neckband okay now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll use my iron so I can steam it it's turned off so let me go ahead and get it turned on again and I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together like a hot dog pin it right here at the that uh, back seam and I'm gonna fold it all the way around right sides together wrong sides together i'm sorry wrong sides together all the way around there it goes this fabric is a little bit flimsy which will do for great drape, but it's kind of hard sometimes to sew with. All right, so here we go. I have my neckband all the way around, folded like a hot dog. And I'm gonna go ahead and here's my back seam. I'm gonna go to the front and that's gonna be my front seam. So what I do is I like to notch 
So just make a tiny little cut right there, just tiny enough that when you sew it on, it will go away, but just so you can see it. I, I like it so that way I can see it when I'm actually attaching my neck band. I can see where it is. And if my pin comes off and it goes away from the spot that it was supposed to be on, I still have that little mark so I can go back to it. Now I meet the front and the back together and I go to the sides and those are my quarters because we got a quarter or band so we can put it on evenly. Always quarter your bands. If you don't, then your neck band might not go in as evenly as you'd like. Um, and I always, this this method hasn't failed me uh, yet. Crossing my fingers, it doesn't, but yeah. So now we're gonna find the uh, front, back, and quarters on our uh, shirt. So what we do is we meet the sleeves at the seams and we go towards the back, this is the back, and we find where the back is and I'm just gonna notch it. You can put a pin if you don't wanna notch it, that's fine. And then we go to the front, same thing. And I'm just gonna notch it. Then the shoulders up here, you have to be careful because they're not the same, uh, they're not right on the center. It's not my quarter point. It's a little bit farther up. So you wanna make sure you find those quarter points on your, short, on your uh, shoulders as well. You don't wanna, if you don't find those quarter points, then it's gonna be uneven. Then your neck band will be uneven. So you have to find them. They're a little bit farther up than the sleeve. They're not, I mean, the, 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 the seam. They're not right at the seam. So you wanna make sure, cause see your seam is right here, but there's, you got longer area up here than you do back here. So your, your neck, your um, neck band won't be even if you don't do the quarters. So that's why you wanna do that. So once you've quartered your neck band, Here's my back, and I'm going to attach my neckband to my shirt. So here's my that back seam. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, attach it to the back of my shirt, and we are doing right sides together, raw edge at the top. So we're matching raw edges, and we're doing right sides. So we're doing it on the outside of the shirt. And if you're new at this, this is weird. This was so weird to me when I first started attaching it to the front, yes. Because then when you fold it up, the, that will hide the seam, the serger seam or the zigzag stitch, whatever you did, it will hide it. So I'm matching up those quarter points and I'll show you in a minute how that looks on the outside of your top, okay? So as you can see, it's folded over on top of my shirt on the outside, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it on slowly but surely I'll show you so I put my neck band in always face my neck band up so I can see where I'm surging if I face it down then I won't be able to see how much I'm taking off of the band and then I will end up um, eating more of it than I want then I go to that quarter point and I stretch a little bit because you will need to stretch the neck band a little bit um, to match your shirt you don't need to stretch it super tight, but you will stretch it a little bit. And then you gotta make sure you're sewing all three layers on there. It's happened to me many times before where I think I'm sewing all three layers and I really am not. So you need to make sure that you're paying attention. Unlike me, sometimes I get to talking and I don't pay attention. Then I have to go back and fix it, which gives more room to make a mistake don't like that so we're going all the way around and I stop at every quarter just so I can fix the band make sure everything's good pull it a little bit um, make it tight and here we go. all the way around these tail serger tails you can go ahead and have the serger eat them the ones for the shoulder seams just tuck them in there and let the serger take care of them Okay. Then when you're done, um, you can tuck in the tails uh, of your serger into your top with one of those big needles. You have one. Or if you want to just go with your sewing machine over it a little bit over and over again right there and tuck it in. But here's my top. Neck band is done. See this tail, I'll tuck it in later. But there's my neck band. My top is finished now if you're doing a um, if you're just doing um, hemming then you are done 
but I am doing a waistband. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now it's the same way that we did the neck, the neck band. So we're gonna go ahead and again, match the raw edges at the edge right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew those together for one continuous loop, raw, right sides together. And this is gonna be my back seam. So I'm gonna fold it over and wrong sides together like a hot dog, just like I did my neckband, all the way around. Just like I did my neckband. We're almost done. And I'm gonna go ahead and steam it like my neckband so that way it stays together. You said this fabric will drape beautifully, but it's a pain in the neck to put it together sometimes. It's so flimsy. But I love the way it drapes. I love working with it. For tops like this, I love the way they look when I'm done. So I think it's worth it. But I also love double brush poly and it is really good to work with as well. All right, so here we go. I steamed it, we go to the front and that is our our front, our half, we meet them together right here and we go to the sides and those are our quarters. I'm just doing the same exact thing that I did for my neckband on my waistband, okay? Which means that I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the bottom of my shirt. I'm going to quarter it. So here's the bottom of my shirt, but now that's different. You already have the sides, so you don't need to redo those measurements. You just meet those two sides together and you go to the one, to the front, and mark it, and then you go to the back, and mark it. And then you do the same thing with the band. Find out, here's my back, my back, this is my back. Here's my back seam, so I'm gonna put that seam on the back. I want all my seams to be on the back. So that's why I always put them on the back, make sure, and hide them. I don't wanna see them. And I'm matching all those quarter points. front and my last side and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it on and we'll be done that was so easy wasn't it it's such a cute top that it does look kind of hard Feels like it should be harder than it really was to make, but it really is. People will see some of the stuff I make and they'll say, wow, you're so good, how do you do that? And I'm thinking, I mean, it is a skill. Obviously, I'm not gonna say that it's not, you know, like, ooh, but it's so fun and it's so easy. Some pieces look harder than others, so you just need to smile and take credit thank you I did I'm also not aren't I <laughs> anyway so I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed making this shirt with me please let me know below if you have any questions about anything that I did that I didn't explain it I didn't explain it right or I didn't um, give you enough information on what I was doing let me know if you have any questions when you make yours, please post it on our Facebook page or our Instagram. We love to see it. We love to see your creations and enjoy them with you. Uh, please let me know um, if you haven't already. Here's my shirt, my, my band. If you haven't already, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, to our channel, so you can um, see all our um, tutorials that are coming up and. Join us on our Facebook page if you haven't joined us at our Facebook page. We have awesome sew alongs going on over there um, all the time. Um, and so just join us on there and you get to win some great prizes to some Ellie and Mac gift certificates and stuff like that. So we'd love to have you. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, please comment, please share. If you haven't subscribed again, please subscribe. Share to your friends um, so you can learn lots more about Ellie and Mac. I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.